<laughs> oh, hey YouTube, Colorful Colts here. Uh, today I wanted to make a disclaimer before I play the actual tutorial. Um, I thought it was important to make this disclaimer because at the time when I had recorded the video, um, I was a little bit frustrated and it did not turn out the way that I wanted it to exactly. Um, not even close, especially when you're using a technology that utilizes your voice. Um, and I couldn't re-record the video because at the time I was using the MacBook from my apprenticeship and I don't have that MacBook anymore and Talon Voice is pretty much designed for a MacBook. So I was just using the internal microphone and yeah. So even though I don't feel comfortable with the way this turned out, I still feel like it may help someone, um, anyone who is dealing with any type of, uh, I don't know, neuropathies of the sort, can't use their hands temporarily or permanently. Um, and and when, I, when I recorded the video, I hadn't even used the technology in like two whole months. There aren't that many videos on Talon to begin with, so yeah. So anyway, so stay tuned for the video and let me know if you have any more questions. All right, you take care. Bye. Hey YouTube, Colorful Codes here. So today I wanted to do a video about getting started using Talent Voice, which is an application you can use to write code um, with your voice if you're unable to use your hands um, or just because you want to try it out. Um, yeah, so I thought I would make this video um, for any new people just getting started with it. Um, I got help from the Talon community via Slack, so I'll just show you everything that I had to do just to get started. So you, see, you can start by just Googling um, Talon, and then we'll end up on their site. We can start with Learn. Oh wait, actually, pause. We have to download it. <laughs> so we're going to have to download Talon. Um, but learn is where you can learn how to get started. It gives you some information. Um, if you know Python, it would be very helpful uh, if you want to write your own scripts for it. But yeah, it just tells us to install Talon and to run it and all of that. And it can also be used with Dragon, which is an application um, people use to uh, write with their voice. Um, but we don't really need that. All we need is a Mac computer um, and just to download it. So let's open that up. Okay, so just agree. <sighs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so all you have to do is just click it once it's done downloading. Yes, open. Is it? Oh, okay. There we go. So you'll see it right there. Um, warning. Uh, okay. That was a little message from Talon. Oftentimes, you may have an issue with Talon waking up, even when you put it to sleep. So, for example, um, Talon sleep. Supposedly, it's sleeping. But I've, I've put it to sleep and other times it would just wake up on its own and it would com uh, it would control your computer and stuff. So sometimes I would either have to quit, quit Talon or I would have to, oh yeah, let me set my Logitech, let me set it to my headphone. Let's see, yeah. Oh yeah, and then this is also an eye tracker. Um, if you're not able to use your hands at all, you can use, I think a popular one that they use is Toby. So you can basically put this thing, like uh, this, uh, this uh, tool on your face, you can get on Amazon, and then you can use it as a mouse. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you all how to get started with the basics. So let me actually show you what the community looks like first. So I'm gonna open my Slack channel. Um, these are all the other channels on Talon. I would click them, but I don't know how people feel about <laughs> invasion of privacy with all those usernames or whatever they're talking about in there. But if you ever need help, just go to help. That's what I did. Um, 
that's why I'm making this video because I'm like, I wonder if they get annoyed every single time a new person joins and asks the same questions over and over and over. But yeah, they were all really helpful. So yeah, any any questions that you may have, you just ask it here um, and just go through all the tabs and you'll meet a whole community of uh, hand-free coders. It was actually my friend Naomi who told me about this. So shout out to Naomi. All right, so let's get started. So first thing you want to do once that you once you've downloaded it is uh, say the phrase help context. Oops, is it off? Oh, oh, <laughs> Talon Wake. Talon Wake. I forgot that I had put it to sleep. Okay, so first thing we want to say is help context. Help context. By the way, you're going to be repeating yourself a lot. <laughs> Um, so try to get a good quality headset. All right, so this is going to save your life um, because you'll be able to use this to control your computer. So if you just say, let's see which one we want to open. We can say help 12. Okay, that one's small. Help context. Um, help 26. No. Okay, there we go. Ooh, let me try this. Snap left. <laughs> Snap left. Talon wants control. Okay. Ooh. Help context. Help 13. All right, so there we go. We have some instructions. Help context. Help context. Um, help 22. Okay, so we have some commands. So yeah, so you basically want to go through every single one of these. Oh yeah, help alphabet. That's also very useful because you'll be able to um, make words with your whatever commands that you want to make. So I actually have a list of the most common ones that I use. Um, so the two most important things you want to use is help context and help, al help alphabet. Those will save you and get you started on programming in your first day. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to say uh, cancel. New tab. Oh gosh, um, focus Chrome, focus Safari, new tab, oh now it wants to work, uh, backspace, backspace, word pizza, dot, cap, go down, enter. Ooh. This may be okay. Let me not go to that site then. Address bar. Address bar. Oh. Y'all see how annoying this is? <laughs> um, click. Let's see where else should we go? Okay, I'll try. Um, uh, help alphabet. Red, each, enter. Okay. Oh, look, we're at the Recurse Center site. Um, yeah, so you can literally go to sites. Oh, let me let me go to Google. Um, let's use Chrome. So I'm gonna do cancel. Fox Chrome. New tab. Oh, now it wants to work. Um, what site? What was I gonna do? Word ice cream. Enter. Scroll down. 
scroll down, scroll down, go down, page down. All right, so you, you guys saw that? Um, basically, when you say page down and page up, page up, you can move a lot faster than saying scroll down or scroll up. So you're basically doing that hands-free. Um, you're going to learn to use specific words that help you the most. Um, I can also say uh, switch space left, switch space right. Yeah, I was on the left already. Um, switch space right. Switch space left soup. See? Um, I can also do, I can switch tabs. I can say last tab. Last tab. Tab right. Tab left. Tab three. See? Um, focus Adam. And then Ollie. Ooh. Click. Okay. Hmm. Shocker. Shocker. Too many blank lines at the end of each file. Listen, thing. Go down. Go down. Let me make a new file. Alright, so let me say... Oh, so you can do, like, you can do word hello, space, um, sentence my name is, ooh, uh, space, word colorful, enter, enter, hmm, help context. Let's see, what was I looking for? Um, is there one for Python here? Uh, help 22. Nope, help context. I see Python. Okay, help 28. Shoot, help 28. All right, Python commands, help context. Help context. Help context. Help 26. Okay. Help context. Mm. Those aren't what I was looking for. <laughs> what? <laughs> Backspace. Um. Okay, help seven. Help seven. No, help context. Help context. Help four. Help context. Cancel. So basically, basically what I was looking for, um, I can't find at the moment, but when you do help context and you go through every single one of those numbers, um, there's a way for you to like, there's a way for you to have shortcuts for specific function words. Like for JavaScript, you don't have to say um, every single thing. Like if I do help alphabet, what was that? Help alphabet. Um, drum each and fine space and then word fizz nope that doesn't work okay um fine sit zip zip and yeah like normally this part it would come automatically um i forgot how to do, how to do that i haven't used towel in, in a while but yeah, you can make your own things. Um, enter, 
enter. So, like for example, here's another cool thing, cancel. Um, you don't have to keep saying the word each time. Like you can say the, the, oh wait, word the, space, and then you can say word pizza, and then you can say soup, soup. And basically soup says things multiple times, like enter, enter, enter. Um, for example, let me see, you can say, no, backspace, backspace soup, enter. Um, this isn't the best tutorial, y'all. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, I can say, let me think of a random word, page, no, um, hello soup, word hello soup, Let's see, and then I can say enter, um, word hello trace, and that does things three times. Um, I can also zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, see, backspace, backspace, soup, soup, backspace, trace, trace, trace. See, that basically like multiplies it, like the amount of times that you say that. Focus terminal. And then you can also do this here. You can say cap. Oh, no. What the freak? Scroll down. Backspace trace. Backspace trace. Backspace trace. All right. Cap. Enter. Um. I think that's it. Um. Delete word left. Ooh. Command shift right. Backspace. Yep. And uh, focus Safari. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, like, Talon can get so annoying. <laughs> but it's amazing. You can build uh, entire functions and code. Um, I've been really slow because I'm making this tutorial and I haven't used the program in like two, two whole months. So I apologize. Talon sleep. Talon sleep. Okay, muy bien. Um, but yeah. So I hope this was helpful for all of you getting started. Uh, I think if I go to, oh, let me go to Chrome. Um. I know if you go, oh, if you go down here and you take this snippet, it's going to bring you into your folder. Copy it, and then you CD into it. You're going to see your Talon community. Oops. And here you can basically edit your own scripts. Um, so yeah, just use the Slack community and they'll be able to help you with that. I tried. I tried. I'm sorry. Um, hopefully this was helpful getting started. Basically all you need to do is download it, help context, help um, alphabet. Um, it's very buggy, but it learns. I just installed it so it's not used to my voice yet, but the longer you use it, the better it gets. Um, and you can make your own shortcuts for it so that it knows like you know, whatever phrases you want to do, you can control that. So yeah, so thanks for watching everyone. Let me know if you have any questions and take care. Okay, bye.